dealt sword, the unnerved father falls. Then, senseless Ilium, seeming to feel his blow, with flaming top stoops to his base, and with a hideous crash takes prisoner Pyrrhus ear. For lo, his sword, which was declining in the milky head of brethren, had seen the Moblet Queen. Moblet Queen? That's good. Moblet Queen is good. This is interesting. It is well. Uh, good, my lord. Will you see the players well bestowed? Do you hear? Let them be well used, for they are the abstract and brief chronicles of the time. They deserve the more merit is in your bounty. Take them in. Follow him, friends. We'll hear him. <laughs> Can you play the murder of Gonzago? Aye, my lord. We'll have it tomorrow night. Yeah. You could for a week study the speech of some of the or sixteen lines which are set on the <laughs> Follow that law. And look you, mock him not. But My good friends, I'll leave you till night. You are welcome to Elsinore. Good, my lord. of his disposition. Negative question. But about imams, most free in his reply. Did you assay him to any pastime? Madam, it so fell out that certain players we all brought on the way, of these we told him, and there did seem in him a kind of joy to hear of it. But they are here about the court this night to play before him. It is most true. And he beseeched me to entreat your majesties to hear and see the matter. Good gentlemen, give him a further edge and drive his purpose into these delights. We shall, my lord. Sweet Gertrude, leave us too. For we have closely sent for Hamlet hither, that he is twere by accident. We hear a front, Ophelia. be all my sins remembered my lord i have remembrances of yours that i have long and long to re-deliver i pray you now receive them no not i i never gave you aught my honored lord you know right well you did and with them words of so sweet breath composed as oh, oh no more I'm it hath made me mad. I say, we will have no more marriages. Those that are married already, all but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To another thing! Go! No! 
That didn't look like love to me. Love! His affections do not that way tend. <laughs> Nor what he spake. Though it lacked form a little, was not like madness. And now, Ophelia, you need not tell us what Lord Hamlet said. We heard it all. There's something in his soul, oh, which his melancholy sits on brood. And I do doubt the hatch and the disclose will be some danger, which for to prevent, oh. I have with quick determination thus set it down. He shall with speed to England. speak with you and presently do you see yonder cloud that's almost in the shape of a camel by the mass and tis like a camel indeed methinks it is like a weasel it is back like a weasel or like a whale very like a whale then i will come to my mother by and by i will say so a by and by is easily said Leave me, friends. No, by the rood, not so. You are the queen, your husband's brother's wife, and would it were not so, you are my mother. Nay, then I'll set those to you that can speak. Come, come and sit you down, you shall not budge. You go not till I set you on the glass, when you may see the inmost part of as bad good mother as kill a king and marry with his brother as kill a king i lady it was my word thou wretched rash intruding fool farewell He's there. What's he doing? Sleeping. It's all right for him. What is? He can sleep. It's all right for him. He's got us now. He can sleep. It's all done for him. He's got us. We've got nothing. We've got nothing. Well, why don't you say something original? You don't take me up on anything. You just repeat everything I say in a different order. I can't think of anything original. I'm only good in support. I'm sick of making the running. <sighs> it's all right. I'll see we're all right. But we've got nothing to go on. We're out on our own. We're on our way to England. We're taking Hamlet to the English king. What for? What for? Where have you been? Been. We've got a letter. You remember the letter. Do I? Everything is explained in the letter. Is that it, then? Right. We take Hamlet to the English king. We hand over the letter. What then? That's it. We're finished. Who is the English king? That depends on when we get there. So we've got a letter which explains everything. You've got it. I thought you had it. I do have it. You have it. You've got it. I don't get it. You haven't got it. I just said that. I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Shut up. Right. What a shambles. We're just not getting anywhere. Not even England. And I don't believe it in any way. In what? England. Just a conspiracy of cartographers, you mean? I mean, I don't believe it. And even if it is true, the king of 
England won't know what we're talking about. What are we going to say? We say, Your Majesty, we have arrived. And who are you? And we are Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Never heard of you. Well, by nobody's What's your game? We have our instructions. First I've heard of it. Let me finish! We've come from Denmark. What do you want? Nothing. We're delivering Hamlet. Who's he? You've heard of him. Oh, I've heard of him, all right, and I want nothing to do with it. You march in here without so much as a bow your leave and expect me to take in every lunatic you try to pass off with a lot of unsubstantiated... We've got a letter. I see. I see. Well, this seems to support your story, such as it is. It is an exact command from the King of Denmark, for several different reasons, importing Denmark's health and England's too, that on the reading of this letter, without delay, I should have Hamlet's head cut off. sight is dismal. And our affairs from England come too late. The ears are senseless that should give us hearing. To tell him his commandment is fulfilled. That Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. <laughs> 